Hi, my name is Takashi Yamamoto. I am a graduate student of Kansai University. I would like to introduce our study on simulation of scattering process of armor blocks behind breakwater during tsunami overflow. This movie is one of the results of the simulation by Dwell as Physics. Many coastal structures were damaged by the Great East Japan earthquake tsunami on March 11, 2011. The main cause of breakwater damage was the tsunami overflowed the breakwater and scrolls seeped and rubble mound. To respond to this, the guideline for the design of breakwater considering resiliency against tsunami was issued. One of the countermeasures is constructing additional rubble mound behind breakwater covered by armor blocks. To check stability performance of armor blocks, hydraulic experiment is needed, but it is costly on budget and time. The ability to evaluate the stability of armor blocks using new mega models will become important for just our production in the future. Until now, new mega simulation has been conducted to evaluate the fluid forces acting on armor blocks, but few studies have dealt with the scattering process. This study aims to simulate scattering process of armor blocks on additional rubble mound behind breakwater during a tsunami overflow and investigates the applicability of dual aspects to the performance evaluation of armor blocks. This study uses dual aspects version 5. Distinct element method is used to calculate collision between rigid bodies. We considered using Project Chrono, but gave up when we had a problem with a block going through a mound in a preliminary test. Next, I will explain about the armor blocks modeling. Left figure shows the HC block, which is a complex shape having hexagonal holes and legs. Right figure shows the ST block, which is a typical flat shape block. The table shows the specification of the blocks. The size of both blocks are almost the same, but the weight of the HC block is about half that of the ST block. Ogma et al. have shown that HC block has high stability at low weight. This slide shows the overview of the experimental setup. A partition panel is used to divide the channel in half. A breakwater model is pressed on one side, and the other side is used to calculate circulation channel. The bottom left figure shows the caisson breakwater model. Armor blocks are installed behind the caisson. Tsunami was generated by submerged pump as a steady flow. The duration of flow generation is set to 120 seconds, and if no damage is detected during that time, the water level is increased and the flow is generated for another 120 seconds. We define damage as a block turnover or sliding mode on its side, and stop flow generation when damage is confirmed. Next, I explain the construction of the block model. Due to the effect of the dynamic boundary condition, a gap is created between the fluid particles and the boundary particles, like this figure. Dynamic boundary condition causes difficulty to represent the shape of an object property. Therefore, the size of blocks should be adjusted to account for the gaps, so that the size of blocks, considering the gap and the actual size of blocks, are about the same. In the official website of the aspects, it is mentioned that the size of gap is 1.5 times of the smoothing length. The perimeter of the block is reduced by the gap, and the hole in the block is also enlarged. Here is a comparison of the size of the blocks before and after the adjustment. The gray blocks are the shape of the original blocks, and the red and blue blocks are the shape of the blocks after adjustment. Next, I explain the numerical wave flow. Tsunami is generated by inputting a constant horizontal flow velocity to the relaxation zone. Behind the breakwater, a rubble mound is built considering the un unevenness, and our blocks are pressed on the mound. Dumping zone is provided at the end of the channel to reduce the influence of reflected waves to the block. Also, periodic boundary conditions are used to allow fluid particles to circulate in the fluid. 
This section describes the condition of SP8 simulation. The left figure shows the initial setup of HC block, and the right figure shows the initial setup of the ST block. The blocks are lined up in three rows. The blocks on both sides of the wall, red colored, are fixed, while only the middle blocks, yellow colored, are treated as floating object. The particle size is set to 1 mm. This is the largest particle size, which no edges are lost when adjusting the shape of the block. The computational cost is shown in the bottom right figure, sorry, bottom right table, and the time required for simulation is about two weeks for the reproduction period is 10 seconds. If one or more blocks turn over, it is defined as a damage, and if no blocks turn over within 10 seconds, it is defined as no damage. This is the simulation result of the HC block under the condition of low water level in the harbor. The block can be seen sliding and then scattering. This is the ST block simulation under the condition of high water level in the harbor. The block does not slide, but scatters. It was confirmed that the scattering process differs depending on the block shape. Physical experiments have shown that HC block slides and then scatters, while ST block does not slide but scatter, which is the same tendency of simulation. We can conclude that the scattering process of the armor blocks can be reproduced by new maker simulation. Next, the stability evaluation method of the armor blocks proposed by Mitsui et al. is used to compare the experiment and simulation results. The stability number of armor blocks is expressed by the equation shown here. The ratio of the water level in the harbor at the height from the top of armor block to the ground of a breakwater is taken as a horizontal axis, and the stability number is taken as a vertical axis to evaluate the effect of damage to the block and the water level. Here is the performance diagram. Black circles indicate the experimental value of HC, black triangles indicate the experimental values of ST, red circles indicate the simulation values of HC, and blue circles indicate the simulation values of ST. These plots show the damage case, and the blank plot show the no damage cases. The solid and dashed line show the performance regression equations for HC block and ST block respectively. Although the stability number is slightly underestimated under the condition of low water level in the harbor, on the left side of the figure, the stability number is generally in good agreement with the experimental and simulation values. It is shown that the, by properly dealing with the effect of dynamic boundary condition, the stability number of the armor blocks can be approximately estimated using DLS physics. Finally, the damage feature of the HC and the ST blocks are discussed in terms of hydrodynamic forces. The video figure shows the fluid forces acting on blocks. Fluid forces acting parallel to the mound in blue and vertical to the mound in red are divided by weight of the block. Comparing the FX values, it can be seen that HC block has a larger FX than the ST block, due to the fluid force also acting inside the hole of HC block. The difference in the scattering process of the blocks, such as HC blocks sliding and turnover and ST blocks scattering the sliding can be attributed to the magnitude of Fx. Under low water level conditions, HC block and ST block show similar stability numbers, while HC block shows a higher stability number when the water level is higher. The Fz values are similar under low water level conditions, while the Fz values become smaller for HC when the water level becomes higher. The numerical simulation shows that the shape of the size falls 
have a significant effect on the scattering characteristic of blocks. A summary and issues are presented. This study shows the stability number of armor blocks can be estimated using gel aspects, and that the whole shape and size of block has a significant effect on the stability number. In the future, if the computational cost becomes smaller due to the faster GPUs and other factors, it can be applied to practical applications, such as the development of new armor blocks. Thank you for listening.